Hey everybody, welcome back to Left Paw Gaming. Today, we've got some more of my walkthrough footage of Final Fantasy 16. Last video, we had a fantastic encounter against Barnabas Thom's right-hand man, Slepnir, before encountering Barnabas himself. This video, Clive finally wakes up after the encounter with Barnabas Thom, and Mid needs help with the ship. Let's jump in. Let's see here. Oh, so we're gonna go to some time later now, so... We've clearly gotten Clive back after that encounter. And we don't know what happens to Jill. So that's that's awesome. So it's just kind of cut off. She's taking a blast Believe straight up. Right. The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. Mm, that's not the best. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we were up to, they'd all want a piece. Of course they would. They'd want it mass produced. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him. If it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Oh, nigh that's every sinew? So he was beat up pretty bad. <laughs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking. Putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> It is no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. <laughs> I know, good. but you've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? Every time they move the camera, you hear the waves. <laughs> I've been listening to that Why? instead of talking. Oh, Clive. Would it go that far? Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father. Who told me that? Oh, well, that's nice. Sounds like it. Made her feel better. Don't you dare do that again. What of the royalists? <laughs> it's not like I meant Fuck to do it. A lot of them, along with the galleon. With the king on board, no doubt. The Iron Heyer wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. Ah. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. I was kind of hoping, but it didn't seem good. Jill is fine. Jill. The ether of her icon endures. Oh. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. That's awesome. <laughs> We must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King. I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him. Because my ship's going nowhere. What do you mean your ship's going nowhere? It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? <sighs> well, of course I do. My dad has seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If Where you had his old they? writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. Okay, well that's something good. I hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition, you really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Nice. 
Here we go, back at the hideaway. A song of hope. So we're gonna go talk to Otto. Gav said that Otto might know something. Oh, you know what? We gotta refill our potions and stuff. So we went and talked to Karen, as well as Blackthorn. We got our gear situated, our items. <laughs> now it's to Otto. God. If you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. Now we're mostly fine. They're all right, but it's a long story. I hear the Moogle in the background. <laughs> a little, like, whistling kind of noise. I'm not even going to try to repeat it. <laughs> you lot don't do things by halves, do you? But at least everyone's still breathing. Now, for the most part. As for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins. Oh, nice. Most of which ended up being used to build this place. Well, that's good. The more personal items we go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been Mid. Oh, so Mid probably has whatever writings were scavenged. All right, good. Like father, like daughter. <laughs> I like that. We'll make our way. You know what I'm curious about this place, actually, as we're walking through now, heading to Mid's area? If, Amber if and the things like this were planned out by Sid, did he already have this location himself? in mind, and that's why we ended up here? Or, like, did we, during the five years, have to find this ourselves? Look at this little pile of books. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. But you'll already have read it. What if Clive found the notes I for this place? In, in one of these, like, as he's searching for what we're looking for at this point? What if he ends up finding the notes about this place since Sid was planning it all along? That's so awesome to think. What do we have here? Oh. Sid's pipes. <laughs> Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Yeah, not for not for this project. Maybe for... I mean, if it's his carrying case for the pipes, that probably holds a value, because, you know, he's, he's always lighting up, you know. <laughs> what else? What else? Oh, we do have a marker. Here it is. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mid's. this tucked inside it. Oh, we got a no? A riddle. Midolf. Midaldo. <laughs> oh, God. What a tough name to say. I know you like your riddles. I reckon you'll appreciate this one. Oh, it's talking about an invention. I'm going to have to work on that last rhyme. <laughs> it's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So they're both really so tinkerers. Something in Mid's first opus. But what would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. All right, back to Otto. See if we get any clues. I feel like Otto's been with Sid from the very beginning, or at least early enough that you know he knows a great deal about the dealings and happenings here. Well, did you find anything? More Possibly. noises. Who Cooper. wouldn't happen to know Noble. what Mid's first opus was? Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a bench. <laughs> oh, God. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. <laughs> so that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. Hmm. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. <laughs> Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. Oh my god. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden just so they could have scavenger hunts. How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with it? I used to do that at a previous job I had. I worked overnight at a gym. 
and uh, I would do scavenger hunts for the morning people. <laughs> it was so dumb. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your cash spoon. Sounds like you did. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Bro <laughs> Except when it isn't. I don't even know what that means. It's broken when it isn't. So. See? It's not broken. And you had it's not working to do properly. With this. Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. What? What? Like this. Well, don't do it again. You crazy scamps. See? All too well. <laughs> All right, out of the way. Time for Uncle Clive to step in. Give it, give it the old fix. Super yeah. fixed it. New music. Huh. Never heard this one before. New music. That's interesting. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. <laughs> right. I can tell you it's important though. Okay, you showed it to me once and said as much. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> the stuff dreams were made of. These guys and their riddles, man. I say, you the stuff ships are made of as well. Right, indeed. <laughs> Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Oh, nice. Like father, like daughter complete. Yeah, perfect. What about the goodies? Now what? So we got the piece, and now we gotta head back to mid and the rest of them to finally fix the ship. Just the two I was looking for. Taria. Uh, who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. <laughs> he did have the decency to leave a message with Obelisk before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds <laughs> are nowhere near healed. She is always Much so like mad yours, at everybody. I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their reversion to rest? <laughs> they got things right. to do, Taria. I don't ask know. Ask me when I get back. Right, Though he said ask sometime. me when I get back. Then at least try to stay safe. I mean, it's always the goal. It just doesn't always work. <laughs> but if Go up against people like King Barnabas. Life. What a power that is. Odin's abilities. Dang, man. Every moment I waste here. The further the flagship sails. Right, we got the final piece. Back to mid. To back. The iron works. So we're back. That ship looks pretty cool, man. I like all the all the fallen designs on it, the fallen pieces. Torgal hanging out on the deck. Lots of people working and moving about. Here we 
go. I was right, Clive. My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> She's so happy Can to get that praise. <laughs> the INA is one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. <laughs> this is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. We'll see how Clive, fast it is. What do you know of Barnabas Tharn? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. Not surprised. And that his sword... Odin's sword can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. What is that? The light! I thought this cool was meant to be hidden! Mid! Company! Hey? Better hurry up, girl. Off until the ship is ready! But hurry! Bullets! All hands! Man your stations! We gotta get moving, guys. Yeah, Torgal's coming with. I see him. Oh, look at this fighting party. Everyone with me? Oh, yeah, everybody stepped up. I love it. Phoenix, the Freet, Gav, Torgal, Here they come. and Uncle Byron. Torgal's the first one in. He just dove in. <laughs> Behind me, Lord Rossfield. I'll take care of these fuckers. Oh, oh nice. nice. We're gonna charge up and we're gonna blast everybody. Give us some time, we get some dodges. We get a good dodge when they swing at us. This should charge us up all the way. No, nothing yet. There we go. Mega flare. Everybody's gonna get hit. And everybody's gonna get. <laughs> oh my god. 100 MFPS trophy earned. How are we doing, Mid? I thought you said that ship was fast. <laughs> oh God. So I did some ability maneuvering with uh, Bahamut. I didn't really like the flames one. I had a stronger ability to unlock, which is the one I just showed off. I can control where I look with it, though, so it's going to be interesting. Getting used to using it for a moment. Be fine. We got this big gadget here. the big titan shield block. That was fantastic. Oh, Prime. I wonder how overkill Odin's abilities are going to be when Clive takes them. <laughs> use this at an opportune. Look at that. Over 500 every hit. That is definitely an attack needed to be used for stagger. Oh, we got... We got Clobber there. He tossed us up and smacked us again. Oh, then he ran us through. 
I ain't trying to use none of my newly bought potions. Let's save them. <laughs> For big fights. Not this heavy enemy Akashic. Come on now. Done. Perfect. Enemies slain. Level up, there it goes. I was like, we're super close. 36. It popped for us. More ability points, more money. They spent a little bit of money when we were back in town. Well, back at the hideout, I should say. That was easy enough. Alright, you lousy lot. Get your asses on board. She's ready to sail. You heard the captain. <laughs> Byron. <laughs> Clive. No way. But, but I thought he was confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man, but the creation of Odin. What? We gotta fight a bunch of them now. Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? There's a lot of them. Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me the executioner. Or was it my eyes? No matter, heads <laughs> will roll. <laughs> All the same. Byron kills Mate, me, man. New plan. You leave. We follow. Follow. Swimming, are you? Oh, follow me. Lay anchor. <laughs> Engines dead slow ahead. So we're gonna get going. We're gonna start this fight. Okay. Let's go. Five minutes some time. It's a message on the middle of the screen, so that's what we're gonna do. We just wiped out a these bunch of them. Will not fall easily. There's gotta be one of these that's probably stronger than the rest. Or they're gonna keep spawning. Yep, they're spawning. Charge this up. How long are we meant to keep this up? As long as it takes. Unless you have a better idea. Well, I've already killed at least five of the bastards. Fuck it. Let's do the lot. <laughs> Their banter is awesome. I hope when we get closer to the final battles, there's a lot of uh, intermixing everybody together. Oh my god, I'm so wild at this. Nerve-wracking. Clive is just popping around this whole battlefield. Everybody's holding their own. They're doing well. Oh, oh you fake slip nears. Done. Come on, guys. Ooh, that flame sword. That was sick. Ooh, the big shoulder tackle. They were starting to get tired. You could tell. Go, 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 go. Come on, Clive. You're next. Clive ain't gonna make it. <laughs> Joshua and Gav made perfect landings. Torgal did his thing. <laughs> Uncle Byron just rolled. <laughs> oh my 
god. What a jump. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. Enterprise Escape. Spoils a bunch of experience. Oh my god, and a lot of ability points, too. That's fantastic. And again, man, just nothing for spoils. I never, never get good spoils, I tell you what. Man, blast off. The Enterprise is sailing. Mid's done it. All right, guys, we're going to cut this video off right there. It's official. Clive is awake. Jill is missing, obviously, with King Barnabas Tharm. And the ship, the Enterprise, is in the water. We finally got it all put together thanks to scribblings of Sid's riddles to his daughter Mid. When we come back, though, we're going to face off against Barnabas Tharm. It's going to be exciting. We may or may not have a ship battle in our future, so if you're excited to see that, you'll have to join us in the next video. As usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.